In this region's chemistry video, we're going to go through questions 25 through 27 of the January 2013 Regents exam. Uh, so if we look at 25 here, in a, in a redox reaction, the total number of electrons is what? Uh, so the total number of electrons in a redox reaction is going to be equal to the number of electrons gained. So however many electrons we lose uh, for whatever element we have, uh, the other element that is gaining electrons is going to gain an equal number. Uh, this is kind of a shoot off of the law of conservation of mass, right? If we, uh, if, if something gains electrons, those electrons can't just disappear, they have to go somewhere, and where they're going is to uh, the other element. Uh, so if, if one loses, the other has to gain, and there has to be an equal transfer there because the electrons need some place to go. So uh, in a redox reaction, an oxidation-reduction reaction, this is always a pair. You can't have a reaction that's just reduction or just oxidation. There always has to be this pair here because uh, when one element loses, the other one has to gain. Again, those electrons have to uh, go somewhere. So the total uh, number of electrons lost is equal to the total number of electrons gained. This would be choice number one here. Uh, if it were less than the total number of electrons gained, uh, then that would mean that the that we would uh, end up gaining electrons out of out of thin air because this this uh, element here that lost electrons didn't lose as many as were gained. So where did those extra electrons come for come from? Uh, it really just wouldn't make any sense. So uh, number one is the choice here. Uh, the number of electrons transferred in either direction, lost or gained, has to be the same. Uh, for 26 which compounds are electrolytes. So remember, electrolytes are things that are going to break up into ions. So uh, looking at these, we want to see, can we like break uh, these compounds up into ions distinctly? So looking at the first choice, we have H2SO4, right? We could break that up into uh, H plus and HSO4 minus, or uh, two H pluses and SO4 minus two. So th this one does break up in ions, but uh, whenever you see an organic compound, chances are it's not going to break up into ions. There's one exception to that rule, and that's organic acids. So if you see the COOH ending, uh, this actually can break up into ions because we could have H+, plus. again, an acid is going to give up this proton. We would have H+, plus, and then something, whatever the chain is, ending in COO- minus as the ion. So an organic acid will break up into ions, but this here we have an alcohol, the OH functional group, this is not going to break up into ions. So a any organic compound other than an acid, uh, you should generally think not going to be an electrolyte. So that uh, eliminates answer choice one and two as well because it has the same compound here, uh, the alcohol. Looking at the third choice, we have KOH and H2SO4. Well, we already said H2SO4 is good as an electrolyte. KOH as well, we would have K plus and OH minus. You should recognize this as a strong base. Uh, right, so a strong base uh, is going to form hydroxide ions, and we have the K plus ion here as well. So the answer is choice three, and then looking at choice four, we have another organic compound here in CH4. That's going to be a non-electrolyte. So looking at the last one here, 27, uh, which compounds yield H plus ions as the only positive ions in a solution? So uh, looking at these, we have uh, H2CO3, HC2H3O2. Uh, these are bo both, you'll recognize, acids, right? We have uh, H uh, plus ions available to, to be given off by both of these compounds. So this is actually going to be the answer choice one because we have H plus, uh, we have 2H plus, and then CO3 minus 2, and we have H plus, or sorry, H plus, and C2H3O2 minus. Uh, so H plus, H plus, they're the only positive ions here. These two ions are negative. Uh, looking at the rest of the answer choices, uh, Na, uh, this, this compound here, NaHCO3, this would form Na plus. So this would be a positive ion, so that even if this broke up into Na plus and H plus and CO3 minus two, H plus is not the only positive ion here because we also have sodium as, an, as a positive ion. So uh, this doesn't fit the only positive ion uh, description here. Uh, NH3, this is going to be a, this is not going to be an electrolyte. Uh, remember the structure of NH3. NH3 would function as a Lewis base, uh, but it's it's not. These H pluses are not going to break off, or these hydrogen atoms are not going to break off into H plus ions, uh, because that's just not what NH3 does. It has this lone pair of electrons. It functions as a Lewis base if it donates uh, this pair of electrons. Uh, so. 
uh, even though we have H2C through H2, HC2, H3O2 here, uh, which was actually uh, yielding positive H plus ions, uh, the NH3 does not. And so that means that choice three and four are not going to work. Uh, so again, the answer choice here for 27 is one. All right, the next video will be uh, questions 28 to 30. Thanks for watching.